Hey everyone and welcome back. Before we begin here today, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it really does help us out over here and it also helps us reach others in need of assistance with these topics. So what we're going to be going over today is how to find the area and perimeter for a quarter circle. So a quarter circle is just a one fourth of an entire circle. So basically it's a circle that has been cut into four equal parts here. So you would have this portion right here outlined in black. This portion here, here, and here would all be the same, each of those being a quarter circle. So circles can be defined by either a diameter or a radius. Now, the diameter is the distance all the way across the circle, and the radius is just from the center to the edge of the circle. So your diameter is really just equal to your radius, which we're representing diameter by lowercase d, radius by lowercase r, and it's just your radius times two. So your diameter would just be your radius plus your radius. So as we have right here with this quarter portion with the six inches and the six inches here, well, that is just going to be my radius of the overall circle this quarter has been cut from. So this is my radius for my entire circle that it's been cut from in this one here as well. So the area for a quarter circle will just be the overall area of a circle divided by four since you're cutting it into four equal portions. So the area would be pi times your radius times your radius and then divided by four, or you could write it as pi times r squared over four if you like. Keeping in mind that pi is just your ratio of the circumference or just a fancy way of saying the perimeter, how to get all the way around the circle, the outer edge there. And it's just a ratio of that circumference to its overall diameter. And pi will always be a constant number and we can shorthand note it as 3.14. Of course, it has a longer decimal point to it, and most calculators will already have pi as an input function. But if you don't, you can abbreviate it as 3.14, and it will always be that value. So since this quarter circle has a radius of 6 inches, we can plug into our error calculation of 3.14 times 6 inches times 6 inches and then divide that all by four. And this gives us a total area of 28.27 inches squared. Keeping in mind that whenever you have a squared unit, in this case, we have inches as our dimension, area will always be a squared unit. And whenever you see a unit being squared, in this case, inches, that denotes area always. All right, so that's the area portion. Now let's work on the perimeter portion. So a perimeter for a quarter circle will just be a combination of the circumference of the main circle and the radius. So as I said, the circumference is all the way around looking at the outer edge. Well, we only care about this portion of the circumference, which is just one quarter of the entire circle. That's why we keep calling it a quarter circle. So the perimeter or the circumference, the curved part for an entire circle will be pi or two times pi times r, or if you want to write it like this, you can two times pi times r. So if we only want a quarter of that or a fourth of that, because this is for the full circle, the quarter circle will be just that portion two times pi times r divided by four, which you could write it as this, since two divided by four, you would get pi times r and then divided by two. And this is for my quarter circle. This one up here is for the full circle. So this would be my overall arc point here, my rounded off portion perimeter. But we also have to add in the six inches and the six inches. So just keep in mind that perimeter is the distance to get all the way around this thing. Well, this pi times r divided by two takes, takes care of the curved portion. We still have to add in the straight here and then the straight portion here as well. So let me scroll down here just a little bit. If it lets me scroll, there we go. So my entire perimeter will be this for a quarter circle in variable form. It will be my curved portion of pi times r divided by two, and then plus my radius 
plus my radius here for this straight portion and this straight portion over here. You could write it like this if you want to, but what is r plus r? Well, we took care of that earlier, and r plus r is just your diameter. So you could also write it like this if you wanted to, of pi times r divided by 2 plus the diameter. Or you could write it even further as pi r over 2 plus your diameter. Well, let's go ahead and fill all this information in. So we would have my perimeter, which I'm just going to label as p, is equal to pi, which we're just going to shorten a hand know that of 3.14 times my radius, which is 6 inches. And then we're going to divide that all by 2. And then once we do all of this, we are going to add in our diameter, which is just our two radiuses added together. So it would be 6 inches plus 6 inches, which is 12 inches. And this gives us a total perimeter once we do this of 21.42 inches to get all the way around that quarter circle. Keeping in mind, you want to do this portion here first and then add in the 12 inches after that. And that would be my perimeter. Now, for the units here, we would just match in whatever distance uh, unit we're using. So inches matches with inches because perimeter is a distance measure. We wouldn't square anything there. So that's how you find the area and perimeter for a quarter circle. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you want to see more problems solved this Friday, please check out the other videos on our channels we're trying to upload daily. Also, if you haven't done so already, please like this video, leave a positive comment below, and subscribe to the channel because all of that does help us out over here. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.